Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. I'd just like to straight away thank you, whoever is watching this video, for finding this video, for either being a subscriber, I especially thank you if you're a subscriber, but thank you if you're a new person to a Dragon PME tutorial. Um, it's fantastic to know that people actually watch this video, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you safely get to the end of this video without any traumas or terrors um, on the way. So I'll dive straight in and I want to teach you something about the automator. Now, I feel like the automator is a bit of a hidden treasure in the Mac operating system. I didn't really discover it until um, recently. I mean, I've, I've looked at it in the past, but I haven't really truly discovered its power until recently. Um, if you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know I'm making, well, I've made and is out and I'm continuing improving an iPhone and iPad application. And the automator has been really, really good um, for resizing things and making my life, uh, saving so much time as well. So I'm just going to launch automator. Uh, in fact, I'll do it, I'll do it the old fashioned way, shall we? We're going to the hard drive and click applications. And we're going to look straight away there, the automator, this guy here with the scroll, metal scroll or something. I don't really know what it is. Um, it looks a bit like Wally, really. Um, okay. Sorry. Everything seems to open on my right hand screen of recently because, um, I do a lot of work there. It's closer to us. That's why I don't know. Anyway, so straight away we're, we're asked with uh, ask asked. Sorry, the program is asking us uh, what we would like to do, and I'm, I'm just going to quickly make a workflow. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what these things do. I'll, hopefully, I'll di discover them and teach you in a later tutorial. But I'm just going to start a workflow because I'm going to show you why I've used it recently, and basically. Um, if I just hide that, um, and I've got a folder here on the desktop called Orig, short for original to me, um, and in here oh, is a lot of parts that I'm using for the Face Factory. That one of the il illustrators that I know has really been really really helpful in making parts, and they're fantastic. But we've got a problem. See this this thing? It's massive, absolutely huge, which is fantastic, but it's a bit too big for our application. Um, so. If if um, if we want to change these into a correct size, keep their proportions, but change them, I've I've been using the automator, and I'll show you what I've been doing. Go to the automator, um, and I've been s searching in this box. I've been typing in scale, and straight away we get this this sort of menu on the right hand side of uh, things with the word scaling but basically uh, if you look down the automator we've got calendar contacts developer and these are things that will help us in a specific task so for example for, for example if I click movies uh, you'll get all sort of tasks um, to do with movies for example play them play DVDs pause capture um, what else is there? stop and also if you notice screen flow recording so I could automate a, a screen flow recording uh, which is quite interesting actually I'll have a look at that see if I can make a video about it but um, for this case it's photo and what I want to do is I want to scale uh, scale there we go I'm gonna drag this into this this window here drag actions or files here to build a workflow straight away scale and what's it asking action will change the image files passed into it meaning it's going to change them do you want to add um, do you want to copy them to make sure you don't destroy any work? But I know, uh, yes, I will. I'll add one. Um, so here, here we've got a workflow. We've got we've got our copy files, and then it'll scale our images. So I'm gonna get our files. F11. Drag this into the workflow. It's not gonna go there. It's gonna go on the top because we're gonna read down like a book. Start at the top and go down. And basically, get specific finder I items original. Wait, I've done that wrong. I have, I have, I have. I've just pressed delete. If I go into here and select them all and drag them in, that's what I want to do. I don't want to manipulate the folder. I want to manipulate the items. So here we've got a million, million, million names. So first of all, we've told the told the automator get these files. Secondly, copy these files. Thirdly, scale these files. So I'm going to copy them to the desktop. Actually, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to say a rig copy. Uh, it's going to copy them there. Choose. So 
we've got our files we're going to copy them so nothing's removed and then we're going to scale them to a specific size now I know how I've designed the application uh, for you it might be something completely different but I know that we want to scale the size down to 50 by 50 so 50 sorry it scales it down to 50 so for example uh, if the resolution of the image so I'm just gonna go into here the resol resolution of this image here is 135 by 122 now the ratio is an exact so by putting 50 in here is not gonna scale it to a 50 by 50 image it's gonna take the uh, smallest the smallest um, number of the two and bring that down to 50 but keeping the ratio the same that one should change to whatever so I'm gonna say okay that's gonna go down to 50 I want my bit button to be around 50 pixels in size and guess what I'm gonna click run and there it goes it's getting all of them images and boom it's done workflow complete see at the bottom and if we look in our original copy we should have all of these and they should be there we go 43 by 50 sorry it takes the largest number not the smallest and changes it into a 50 so if we go to our right brow that's the original find right brow and here we go we've got 50 by 45 and it's ah yeah so it has took the largest number and put it down uh, and as you can see our size has dramatically changed and these ones now uh, I'll just close a few windows hide that no I don't want to hide that actually right so these are is our original copy and this I can now call oh, buttons so now I've got the original and I've got the buttons and we'll see this see the difference straight away football head is massive buttons it should not be so massive it's a nice button size so that's how I've been using the workflow if we go th through the workflow we can do all sorts of things like uh, rotate scale um, take picture and it, it the automator works in coherence with a lot of programs so if you see these icons I'll, there we can see that's that's iPhoto and that's the previewer and um, aperture stuff like that and it works with programs in build programs to do specific tasks so what I'm a bit confused at and I'm gonna try and answer this in the future is for the for example these iTunes ones about getting selected iTunes items and uh, important audio files in iTunes um, I'm sh surely you can't use the automator for such basic tasks but maybe that maybe that's a new, the, the way forward maybe it's not so anyway I hope you've learned something in the automator I'm, I'm sure I'll be making more videos about the automator in the future because it does look like a really big complex program that we that that we need to find the treasure in it we need, we need to find the gold and uh, hopefully it can make our life a lot easier like in this instance where we need to scale down or scale up or scale left or scale right or scale upside down if that was possible <laughs> it's not um, in this instance that would have saved me so much time than doing it in Photoshop so thank you very much for listening I hope you've learned something if you have learned something leave a comment and say thank you very much well you don't have to say thank you you could say mm, I've learned something and I don't really want to leave a comment because uh, you don't deserve it or if you have haven't learned it learned anything say you know what pay me you are crap and you need to teach me something good here's an example teach me how to use blah and hopefully we'll get some bigger and better tutorials thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time on a dragon pme tutorial yeah.